As promised, this is the things I don't like or I hate. Probably one of the number one things is cell phones. I wouldn't take a cell phone for free. If it had free time, everything was free. When I'm away from my phone at home or at my sh away from my shop phone, I feel free. I feel happy. If I know that I'm on top of a ladder or I'm doing something in a precarious spot and got my hand jammed in that engine or whatever I'm trying to do, I can't relax, I can't concentrate because I'm just thinking, oh, the phone's going to ring, the phone's going to ring. And every time the phone rings, it seems that someone wants me to leave me a message that come to my house and fix something. So I have to write down their address and that would suck, especially if I was driving a car. So good riddance for cell phones. I also hate how the United States of America feels like they're the world's police and gets involved in everybody else's business. <laughs> like, especially like Iraq. Yeah, Saddam wasn't a good guy, but he wasn't bothering us. They make all these crappy excuses and go in there, and then they get involved in Afghanistan too. The list goes on. <laughs> I won't even touch the rest. I hate how religion separates so many people, nations, causes wars. You know, I believe there's God, and I'm a Christian, and I think there's only one God, whoever you want to call him, by whatever religion. So why do we have to have all these religions that cause all these problems? Like, just accept it. Well, in case you foreigners don't know, there's a thing coming in next year in Canada in 2010 called the Harmonized Sales Tax. Well, it's just another way to rip off us Canadians and add more tax to every single thing that we purchase or use or someone does for us. So I'm totally against that. Well, I told you in my last video of things I like. I like creepy crawly things and spiders and snakes. But the kind of creatures that I absolutely hate and I have seen no reason why they exist on Earth except to persecute things is like fleas and mosquitoes and parasitic organisms. I wish parasitic organisms never existed. The number one killer of people on the Earth is actually mosquitoes because of the diseases they carry, not people killing other people. I hate shoveling snow. That's why I bring my tractor home from the farm, and then I actually like it. And I use my dozer at the farm, and that makes it fun and cool. Real redneck. I hate ever throwing away something that still works, and that's part of my hoarding addiction. <laughs> I also hate cigarette smoke. I think cigarette smoking in public is a very selfish thing. I hate getting in a vehicle that smells of it. I hate smelling clothes of it. I hate it when people smoke around kids or when they smoke when they're pregnant. I mean, all the other things you do, like if you drink or if you do drugs and stuff, you're affecting yourself, unless of course you're drinking and driving. So it's, it's a private crime. But when you smoke, secondhand smoke is killing your children. It's damaging their brains when they're developing, when they're pregnant. It's harming everyone around you and making their life miserable so that you can continue with your addiction. I'm sure a lot of my viewers smoke and maybe they don't all want to, but unfortunately the cigarette companies have made it so addictive. That's a crime. I hate having sticky fingers. I hate, like, when you go to the bathroom, the phone always seems to ring. I mean, it doesn't matter whether I have a shower or what I'm doing in there, shaving, brushing my teeth or whatever else, guaranteed the phone rings. So I always take it off the hook when I go to the bathroom or if I make a video the phone rings or when I'm editing a video. So. Right now the phone's off the hook too. I hate people that are bullshitters, that make false promises, you know, stuff like that. I hate big cities, like the biggest city around here is Toronto, it's Canada's biggest city. I wouldn't live there for free, I've been there many times. Sure it's a beautiful place and it's very advanced and modern, but it just drives me crazy being in a big city. My city's 350,000 and it's kind of getting a little bit too big for me so I've got to run away to my country hideaway all the time. I hate raw vegetables, but I like them all cooked. I hate Christmas, as I mentioned before. <laughs> I hate sitting in front of computers. I do it as little as possible, although that's too many hours a day just because I've become popular. I sort of hate being popular because it's like having homework all the time and all these messages and solutions I've got to solve online now and the fact that I've got to always produce more videos. I hate game shows, musicals, and video games. You know. Game shows and musicals just aren't kind of guy things, and they're not very redneckish. And video games, those are for people who maybe don't have much of a life or don't know what to do in the wintertime, but it's, I think it's a waste of a life. A lot of teenagers are growing up missing social developmental stages that are very important, especially getting to know girls and stuff, because they spent their life in fun of a video game. That sucks. Even my own kids. 
have the same problem. At least not my daughter, she's like me. I hate fat women. Don't take it personally, anybody, but just not attracted to them. And the biggest turn off is wide butts. <laughs> when working on cars, the two jobs I hate doing most is exhaust work and changing gas tanks and stuff like that. The two cars I've learned to hate the most is those older Audis and Ford Tauruses and Sables and Tempos. Dropped anything under the hood on those cars? You'd never find it. You can't even get your arms in and they're always breaking down so you always got to find some way to get through all that engine spaghetti. I hate liars and jealous people. I hate illegal drugs. I have tried marijuana. Didn't like it whatsoever and I only tried it when I was drunk and someone sort of forced it upon me. I have no interest in stuff like that and I feel it's a cop out in life if you have to use drugs to have a good time. That's what my farm is for. That's real life fun. This may be the shocker to all of you. I actually don't like V8s. It's probably because I'm cheap and most V8s are old fashioned technology. Sure I love the sound, but I would feel guilty driving one because most times you just don't need such a big engine unless you're pulling a trailer or racing. It's I open the hood, look at the V8 and look at some of the more modern cars with four cylinder engines or whatever. That's technology. Those cars, the average little car now has at least a horsepower per cubic inch. V8s are so old fashioned that how many V8s out there, even the new ones, have a horsepower per cubic inch? So, sure, they've got torque and power and great sound and the mystique of the classic V8, but, nah, not for me. <laughs> I'm a lot more modern than that and frugal. And frugal means intelligently cheap. I hate sleeping in, too. For some reason, my body knows that. It always wakes me up earlier than I want to get up. Because... Any daylight hour that's wasted in bed when you could be doing something more important in life because every day your life is ticking away and you're going to die is a waste of time. It's a waste of calories. It's just a waste of anything good you could be doing. All my life is goal setting. I always have plans for the future and I just hate wasting days it's, or hours or minutes. So I try to get something done all the time that the daylight's on at least. And finally, there's one thing that I really hate. I hate the fact that my ex-girlfriends have to go out of their way to prevent my boys from ever meeting me and I've done them no wrong. You know, it's all it's just their jealousy, I believe. They won't let them communicate with me, their brothers or sisters, or any family member. That's just wrong. I think they're just trying to cover up the fact of how they were illegally abducted and just block the truth. It's just ridiculous. It's wrong to raise a child to adulthood and never meet the other side of their family whatsoever. Some people's motives really suck. 